Hello guys. Welcome to my ColourPop Super Sock Shadow Obsession. My name is Danny, and I'm addicted to Super Sock Shadows. I have had my eyes on these since they came out. I have been buying them for about four years. I have used up many in my time before coming to YouTube and I have panned in like, let's count one, two, three, three with pan, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, oh look, there's one ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have pan in 18 out of 50. What was that? 56 of these? Yeah. So this is just what I have pinned in already. And I means I've really used them. I'm not talking about I push all the ones down. Like I'm talking about like I've used these to like crazy. Uh, I'm going to swatch them all for you. But I'll start with the ones that I have pinned in and move my way across. Um, some of these are new. I haven't even used yet. I think I have like four or five that are new. And I am going to be getting to those soon because I love to pull them in. I love pulling them in. That's like four sets at a time, four at a time in with my makeup basket. When I was on a bigger makeup basket, the one you guys have seen been pretty condensed. But I'm probably going to my bigger makeup basket and just pull it for the month. Because the weekly one, I do get a lot of use out of things. But there are things that I'm not getting use out of in a week. Because I feel like I need to get more use out of the products that I'm pulling. So I'll probably pull for the month or every couple weeks maybe going forward. But that's in another video. Let's get to these these swatches because it's going to take forever to swatch all these. But I just want you guys to see how many, how they look. Just like cute little harder shadows. They're so good. So we're just going to push these forward and we'll just start. Um, no particular order. Let's just grab five. We'll start with five at a time and we'll just keep going. So the first one we have, let's kind of zoom in. Close-ups of the swatches. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That does seem okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks better. So this first one is called I Heart This, and it is a ultra glitter finish. Let's just swatch it right there. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful color. Silvery taupe color. I love it. Then we have one of my favorites, Lookfully, which I actually think they're discontinuing. So if you guys can catch before it's gone, please do. I've used an entire one of these, and this is the second one because I was into blue eyeshadow in a big way um, a couple years ago. So that tells you I've had this one for a while because, hey, they're not drying out. I keep mine stored closed tightly in a little box that also protects them from the elements. Um, and I love, look how beautiful that blue is. It's just beautiful. Then we have Kathleen White. She did a quad with them. And this color plus Telepathy were probably the two best colors I think she put out in the quad. And this one may have been in a separate quad from Telepathy. But I think I have Telepathy somewhere through here. Yeah, I do. I use an entire Telepathy and an entire Kathleen White because they're gorgeous colors. Look how gorgeous this gold is. Beautifully done. And then this one is Prickly Pear. Guys, this may be like a three-part series because, you know, I just feel like I want you guys to really see these colors and I don't want to rush. Prickly Pear. It's like a pinky gold base. It's just beautiful. Like, I can't barely describe these because they're so pretty and they're so easy to want to collect them all like Pokemon. Look, just look at that color. Look at these colors. I heart this lovefully Kathleen White's Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear is one I'll probably have pan in soon. And then Flux With You is from this butterfly collection they did not too long ago with all the hand painted packaging and stuff they put out. And it's just like a really pale gold, like pale yellow gold. Very pretty. I'm making sure to close these super tight after I swatch them because I don't want any of them to dry out. Because like I said, mine have held up pretty good and people have complained that theirs did not. And I was like, what you doing with your shadows? So the next five we have up are going to be Banana Daiquiri, 
beautiful teal color. It's gorgeous and reflective as you can see. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Let's see if it'll be nice to us. Beautiful reflective teal. It's not reflective in itself, but like, look at this. I'm just going to do one swatch of that one. That's gorgeous. Teal with gold reflex, and those gold reflex reflect, guys. Like, if you put this down, it's going to dry down, and it's going to be gorgeous. Next up, we'll do some deep colors here. We'll look at these deep colors. We've got mittens, and I've used an entire one of mittens before as well. And this is a repurchase. It's just the deepest, deepest burgundy brown. It is so good for the outer corner for deepening up, deepening up colors. It is a, they're calling it, yeah, it's a matte. I'm they benefit this was a matte. I think they were, I think before they were trying to say it was a satin matte finish, and I was like, no, that's a matte, girl. It dries down like crazy to a matte, and I've worn it all over my lid. And this is also a Central Park, which is a matte. People don't give a lot of love to the um, ColourPop mattes, but I really like them. And this is like my second one of these, and I have a backup. Like guys, you know. You don't understand, like, I do. I had a backup of this, and this became my one I've been using. So I've used an entire one of that one. Got a wipe it and dry my hands in between. But I think sometimes I'm not doing a good job. So I'm gonna wipe everything off. Let me get like a really good wipe on my hands. There we go. Because they're gonna stain my fingers. They're gonna stain. Next up is Tang, which is a new one. I haven't worn it on my eyelids. I can't tell you how it performs, but it is like a um, gray, blush tone gray. That's what it looks like in the pan. And it actually comes up like, the, like a dusty mauve gray on my arm. Yay! Because sometimes the colors in the pan don't translate to the eye. And sometimes we think it's going to be in the pan. It ends up looking darker or deeper or lighter than what's in the pan. So you have to be very careful when picking shades online, especially because... They swatch on all skin tones, but all skin tones are not the same, and all undertones are not the same. So, this is what I got. Next up, guys, just look at this. It's cute. It's called Daddy. It's just a pretty matte purple. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Woo. It's gorgeous. Just like this one swipe, guys. This one swipe. Look how gorgeous this purple color looks. Gorgeous. All right, guys. That's the first ten so far. So let's let's see. We got I heart this. Luckily, Kathleen White's prickly pear. Flux with you. What's that one called? I can't remember. I use it. Ba banana daiquiri. Banana daiquiri. Mittens. 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 Central Park. I was about to call it Crenshaw because Crenshaw is another one I like, but it's more brown. Central Park. Um, Tang and Daddy. So that's what we got on that arm. Let's wipe it down. You see how they stain? Like I'm using a very wet wipe here and it's sticking to my arms. Guys, that's why I said this is probably going to be um, a series of parts because I got to find a way to get this off my arms in between. Like in between the swatches. But the super tight shadows are only $5 on the Color Power website and they keep having sales on them all the time. Um, and they bring them down to about 3 bucks. So, yeah, you can catch them, catch them on a sale, or catch them, buy one, get one free, because they've been doing that a lot lately. Let's see if we can get 10 more into this video, and then we'll come back. One, two, three, two, four, six, eight, ten. We'll do try to get 10 more in this video, and then we'll come back and do part two, which may be another set of 20, and this may be a three-part series. But let's go with this dark brown mat, this dark black mat and roulette. So black. I hadn't even used this yet. And I'm excited. Super excited to be using this one in the future. And that's Roulette. Next up is Dynasty. I saw this and I knew I had to have it. Look, look at that color, guys. It's beautiful. I had to have this. I could not have it. It's like a crimson red matte color and I had to have that so I cannot wait to throw it on my eyes and it's staining my fingers so it's probably going to stain my arm next up is elixir it's one I have pan on one I've used a lot it is a orange so pretty the packaging is so reflective though it's orange see that pan in it 
I use it a lot. And you can see why. Because it's beautiful all in the crease. It's beautiful all of the lid. With one of these other like brighter gold colors popped on top of it. It is just beautiful in general. Next up is Thirsty Girl. Oh, this color was from our Christmas collection. I think last Christmas. Because it's in a black packaging. Um, look, look how smooth that is though. Y'all, it's so good. I love that color. I love it to death. I used to have a color called Hammered that I used up, I think, almost entirely. Almost. And it's is it still here. No, I think I used it up. It's gone. Um, I got excited for a second there, guys, but I was wrong. Oh, here we go. This is a little quarry. It's a new one to me. But it's a beautiful rose gold color. Then you have telepathy which was part of the crackly white collabs but it's beautiful just citrine color beautiful 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 and then you have exo it's gorgeous pink reflective color it's a glitter i think yeah ultra glitter Close it back up, guys. I can't let them dry out. Let me know it's so good. And then this one is Whittle, and it is an ultra glitter as well. These are like the most reflective. It looks a lot like cake soda, to be honest, but Whittle has a little bit more of a purple base to it. You can see. Yep, it's beautiful. If this stops, I'm just going to restart it and I'm going to try to clip all the videos together because I don't want you guys to have to sit through 12 a billion 12 minute videos for me this is pretty lucky it is a matte brown gorgeous matte brown and next up you have helio goodbye and it is a ultra glitter as you guys can see i have a thing for the mattes and the ultra glitters this is like a orangey red coppery glitter it's beautiful so let's review we have helio we have what is that one? Pretty Lucky, Whittle, Exo, Telepathy. What is that beautiful one right there? It's not a little bit. It's called a little quarry. Yeah, it's new. I bought this a week ago. A little quarry. This is Thirsty Girl. Elixir. This is that Dynasty Crimson color. I couldn't resist. And then this is Roulette. So these are those ten guys. They're beautiful, beautiful colors beautiful Norman box over here if you wonder what that sound is so let's go with the white down and we'll see how bad these stay <laughs> oh god relax relax why yeah i'm gonna be so strange when this is over i already know finger stain hand stain arm stain everything's gonna be stained that's okay we're gonna keep it moving dry everything off and get a new fresh white out and keep it moving so next up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the next ten to the party are going to be coconuts oh god coconut is an original love i've used an entire one of these and then i got this one and then they discontinued coconut i think and then they bought it back so I don't know what coconut's current status is, but if you happen to see it, let's just the swatch speaks for itself. That's one swipe, guys. So when you build this up, oh, I'm telling you, it's so freaking good. It's coconut. Coconut, put the lime in the coconut and twist it all around. It's so good. Coconut. Next up is a Biza. This is one of their newer colors, but they're already discontinuing this, but hey. It was like three bucks when I bought it the first time, and I think it's still three dollars. <laughs> and it is ultra glitter, ultra metallic. Yeah, I knew it was something shiny. Coconut and a bees. That would make a good eye look, guys. It'd make a pretty good eye look. Got some more coming along that'll probably go with it. We got patchwork. As you can see, I have a love for teals and gold and rust colors. I would love for all colors, but Patchwork is like a duochrome teal purple, and it's so beautiful. It was also part of a Christmas collection. I only have three of them left because I've used up the other three. And 
that tells you how much I'm using this. Let's go ahead and look at the last of the, of the Christmas collection that I have left. And that's Fairfax and it is a chocolate brown. Like, I'm not even in frame, guys. It's a chocolate brown. Just look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Boom, boom. Just, it just spreads like so smooth. And it's so smooth. And it's a matte. Like, people talk crazy about Colourpop mattes, but they look so good on the eye and they are so smooth. So I know the Ultra Metallics and Ultra Glitters are like the stars of the show, but their mattes are really, really good. A synthetic brush will get those mattes on your eyes like nothing else, and they're really good. Just a tip. This one is called Cuteologist. I need to change my name to that on Instagram. Cuteologist. It's this gorgeous deep orange color with gold reflex. I don't know how I feel about them putting the glitter in a matte orange base. But I don't know that the gold reflex are coming off a whole lot. But this is one that's newer to me and I've only worn it a couple times. So when I put it on my eye, I'm really not seeing that gold. But it's, you can see gold on my arm because there was a gold shadow under. There was a gold shadow in that spot last time. And as much as I'm trying to clean off, they stain guys. They stain. So I'm gonna say they stain. All right, next up we got Set to Stun, which is beautiful. I think I'm I'm, I'm close to hitting pan on Set to Stun. Like I've worked this out. Look look at that gorgeous color. It's an ultra glitter. Yep, yeah, ultra glitter. Oh my God! Look at that. Boom, boom. It's taking over, taking over everything around it. It just stands out. Stands out with the masses like nothing is like that so good their ultra glitters are beautiful though gotta give it some and this one is sidekick it's an ultra glitter as well <laughs> your girl got a preference just look at this look at this beautiful color and it is beautiful beautiful orange base gold it's like a yellow gold orange that makes sense. We know those gold crayons we used to have from Crayola. Kind of reminds me that it's glittery, but glittery. Next up to the party is some more gold. Lala is a staple. And I sometimes don't even want to travel without it. Pan is probably coming soon on this one. Between this and a maze, I've used them a lot. This one is very pretty. Pretty, pretty. It just has a glow. It's an ultra glitter, but there's not a lot of as much glitter in these as in those. These were the original ultra glitters. They were just smooth and beautiful. Now these are ultra metallics. No, they're still called ultra glitters, but it's just not as smooth. I feel like this is a smooth shimmer. They should start calling these shimmers because it doesn't have glitter in it, and then these will be called should be called ultra glitters. But that's the moon color pop that make up the own. But Lala is a is an old old school one, and it's really good. And then you have Weenie. Weenie is so cute. Look at that. Boom, boom. Cuteness. They're so reflective. This is also a pearlized. And I think Lala is actually more of a pearlized, even though they're calling it an ultra glitter. Because look, they both look so similar. Like, both in color. Weenie is more pink, but also in finish. So I would say that Lala was a pearlized color. Not an ultra glitter, though they're saying it's an ultra glitter. Alright. Got coconuts, Ibiza, patchwork, what is that color? Fairfax, and then this orange was Cutologist. I don't remember what that was called. Cutologist. I should set to stun. And then that was Sidekick. You got Lala and you got Weenie. Last up in this tin is going to be Taco. The names are also very interestingly done, but this is like a bright pastel blue. I can get that to pay attention to it. Look at everything else. Look, focus. Oh, nope. It doesn't want to focus on this bright pastel blue at all because it's crazy. My camera it is. But it's a bright pastel blue. You'll see in the swatches. Matte, it's matte pastel blue with that. Ready? Boom. Boom. Pretty good. Pretty good for a pastel blue, especially on deep skin. So I really want to give this a spin to see what it would look like in the eye color. Probably along with Ibiza and Coconuts, to be honest. Their patchwork and that color might do pretty well together. So let's go 
clean my hands off. You guys are ready? Here we go. The white down. You can see which ones like stick, man. Those blue and stick around and the deeper brown stick around. So I'm gonna have to do some work to get this off. Let me move out of frame and scrub on myself a little bit. Whew. Scrub, 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 scrub. My arm skin is gonna be angry when I get done with this video. Very angry. And still, guys, I've used an entire makeup wipe and then like scrubbed with a towel. And it doesn't want to leave. Doesn't want to leave. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to get these off. <laughs> I might have to two, two days in a row. And I hope for the best. Oh, it's not coming off. So yeah, that tells you that they're going to stick on your eyes for a long time. I've worn these for my longest days. For my longest days. Alright, let's pull some more. Let's pull about five more so we can get those in real quick. But, oh, these are all teals too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a preference. I have a preference for teals. Teals and golds. Teals and golds. Let's see if we can get through. This one is cusp. It's a really good one too. I got tan in this one. It's like a green, ultra glitter green color, and it's really, really good. Let's see. Boom. Can't beat that. Flower Shop is an old one. Like, you can even see the writing is different on there. If you could see that, you probably can. Nope. It just makes the camera crazy. But it's an old one. I've used it like crazy and it has like dips in pan and it's beautiful. It's like a pearlized finish. Yep. It is. So, I don't know why they call it Lala. Um. Ultra metallic because that definitely is pearlized like the rest of those. Like those other ones I'll show you. I guess they were trying to do something different. I don't know. This is Snapdragon. It's a matte teal. Matte like this is not even really a teal. This is almost like a matte mint green to me. I think they put it as a matte teal, but it's a matte mint green. It's pretty. It's a pastel color. Those are good for spraying. That and taco would probably make a good lip. And then this is Zoom Ship very pretty and they're very creamy as well this is a matte as well beautiful deeper blue matte but it's bright pastel deep blue I guess oh, it's not deep blue I'm not good at color description guys just just so you know I'm not good at that I got most of these boys that way and this is monkey business I haven't even used this yet oh my gosh it's so new I need to use this bright orange color before summer is over Look at that. So pretty. Monkey business. That'll probably go with Dynasty, that red. That might be a good color. I'll let you know what I come up with, guys. I'll post it on my Instagram at Daniel All Day if you want to go follow me over there. That's where I'll be posting those. Alright, that's that five. That's um, Cusp, Snapdragon, Zoom Ship, Monkey Business are those five. So let's just wipe those down and try to scrub my arm and then we'll move on to um some pinks and purples and maybe we'll save golds for last let's clean my arm off real first <laughs> all right we got the pinks and purples up next and we got don't leave which is a super shock ultra metallic is what they're calling this Pretty. Ooh, yay. Guys, swatching these makes me so happy. And I'm glad to be able to go back and look at this video later and be like, look at that color. Got distracted so easily by the beauty of that color. Be able to say, look at this. You want to find colors you like, check it out. Here's a resource we will have of color swatch on deeper skin for you to be able to look at and see. Sometimes it's good to be able to have that reference in, in, in a place you can watch it. This one is called Ripple. It was from the limited edition Butterfly Collection, but when I got this, guys, it has such a deep dent in it. Deep dent and pen on the way because I was loving it. Loving this color. I was in a purple mood. And sometimes I just get in the color mood and I just stick with it. So this is beautiful, reflective purple and blue. Mm, so good. That should make it a permanent color. Next up you have Dance Party. And this is like a deeper version of Ripple actually. Look how much reflection in this. It's definitely ultra glitter. Yep. Like, oh, it's like Ripple. 
and then dance party. Ripple has an older sister. Older, more mature sister. Look at that. Pow, pow. So good. Pew, pew. It's a 22. Yeah. If you watch weird YouTube videos or Instagram videos, you know what I'm talking about. This little girl on there put a little body out there and was doing a dance. She was pew, pew. It's a 22. It was funny. Gotta see the video. This is Cricut. Cricut is one I've had for a long time. I've loved. It's like a gray, purple base gray, and it's beautiful, and it's an ultra glitter as well. It got some side pans and some dips in it. I love it. It's a beautiful color, so I've used it a lot. I'm to use these colors a lot in the fall as well. But Ripple, I had got my hands on it. I was wearing it like crazy. It's so good. Next up is one that has been abused, and I love it. And it's hard for me to put down, as you can see. Look how abused it looks. This is so quiche. Oh, if they discontinue this, you're going to be a mad so star on your hands. It's like a green, purple, olive. It's everything you ever want in a shadow. It's just beautiful. It's so good, guys. It's so good. Yeah, that's beautiful. So you got Don't Leave, Ripple, Dance Party. Cricut, so quiche. Beautiful five together there. So let's go ahead and swatch the white those off because my arm can't let them stay on there too much longer anymore because they're they're going crazy on white box screen. Making it look all crazy for you guys. Alright. Ugh. Thank sorry. Next five up we got Drift. Drift is like a maroony color that they're calling pearlized and they're pretty much right. It's like a pearlized maroon. I love to wear that with like a nude lip or with another maroon, like a tonal colored look. I wear that a lot as you can see because look, pan, a beauty look, it just looks crazy because I've used it so freaking much. Then you have mooning, which is a deeper color. I like mooning, but I haven't really figured out what to do with mooning. It's a color I need to work on showing some more love to. Look how smooth that is. It's so smooth. So pretty. It's a satin, um, but it has glitter in it, so I guess it's a satin with glitter, but it's beautiful. I just feel like it needs a, to shine on its own. Like I made it look like an all over lid, like just a cap of another gold in the center look with Mooney. And I'll let you guys know, I'm going to start posting some of my eye looks on Instagram more. I'll try to be better about it. This is Arrow. I wore this so much last fall. <sighs> I'm probably going to wear it a lot this fall. It's just a good color. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. It's an ultra glitter, but it's not, not like a not like a chunky glitter. I really think it's more of a pearlized finish. Um, but it's beautiful. I've worn look, look how, it's so low in the pan, like it's barely there, and then like all this is showing. It's like deep in there. Beautiful color. Like I've used a lot of that. I'll probably finish arrow this fall to be honest. So that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So you got Mooning and Arrow and Drift so far there. And you got Muse coming up on the back end. It kind of reminds me of Arrow a lot, like just in the pan it does. Um, and I can't say they're not that similar. <laughs> to be honest, they are very similar. Muse, while they're saying Arrow is a is um an ultra glitter muse is also looking very pearlized it's a little bit more um deeper rose gold but it's still pretty much the same and they did they did say this was a pearlized so i don't know why they said it was ultra glitter because they look the same come on guys oh pop come on with the naming of the types of shadows here come on with it guys so my last purple of the bunch that i own is going to be lace 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 here we go it's beautiful let's look at it let's give it a beautiful bluey purple it's really purple it's like a blue base purple but it's beautiful and they call it they call it you know, satin it's so smooth i like the formula of their satin shadows they're so smooth nice. one swatch guys one swatch beautiful so it can be built up to even more more beautiful these work best with your fingers or um a synthetic brush i found that a synthetic brush works the best with these this Patting like the mats and things on your eyes. As far as putting the shimmers and making them shine, fingers, guys. If you don't like fingers, use a synthetic brush, but they're really good. Alright, let me take these five off before they say 
Because they will. As you can look, look at this. I'm scrubbing my arm, guys. These stain like crazy. So make sure you wear eye primer to save your lids. I don't have to scrub my lids like this because I use an oil cleanser or a balm. I also use an eye makeup remover, um, a dual face eye makeup remover if I want to. Plenty take the day off. Eye makeup remover is bait for life as far as removing eye makeup. A drugstore version is the Neutrogena one. I really, really like it a lot. So let's take my eye makeup off. Alright, this is the last bunch. It's three, six, nine. 12, 14 left. We'll see if we get this 14 and this clip. We probably got about five minutes until so let's be fast. All right, Amaze. Go to staple. Love it. Gold. Utah, love it. As you wave, is an orangey gold, and they're calling it an ultra metallic. Let's get this out. Let's see. Yeah, it's got an orangey gold. Feel that color because I feel like it's not showing me out. There we go, it makes it better. Amaze and as you wave. Amaze as you wave. Alright, next up we got an actual yellow called Heat and it is a satin. I don't know why they keep calling it so satin with this with this glitter in it, but you know, it's their names, I get to call it. This is one that's newer to me, and I haven't really given it a fair shot by itself, so I'll have to do some work and let you know how heat holds up. I can't recommend it, that's why I have what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at. Other ones that are staples that I love that you see me got pan on. Anything I have pan on, buy it, because it's great. It's just great. Speaking of pan, we got Melrose here. We got Melrose and Game Face. Melrose is a match. It's like a burnt orange terracotta man. Oh my god, it looks so abused. So dirty. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry because that means I use my makeup. So, terracotta orange. Beautiful. I should have bought a backup of Marrows. I need to do that. Note to sell. Next time they do buy one, get one free, grab a Melrose. Speaking of buy one, get one free, let's interject a giveaway right here. If you've watched this swatch video and you have stuck around to this part, you have now got yourself ready to recognize there's a giveaway in here. I'll be giving away a Visa and I Like You. I don't have I Like You open because I have pretty much the same color in Bumblebee. So it's a beautiful color. It is a ultra glitter. And so is a visa. It's an ultra metallic. You saw me swatch a visa and you know this is gorgeously beautiful. So if you want these shadows and you know that you are interested, follow me on Instagram at Danielle All Day. Like a photo over there. I'm gonna make I'm gonna put a photo up on my super shock shadows. Like the super shock photo and then leave me an emoji in this video of a hmm, let's borrow from Lou purple hearts purple hearts Ta -da -da. that was quickly thrown down all right game face is another gold color that I love it's like a bronze gold color so good one swipe you get everything you need with that one we're almost there guys we're almost there let's go ahead and swatch bumble because we were just talking about it and it is a reflective dual chrome i think they said it's ultra metallic too but it's like a drier ultra metallic formula so, but look at this color it's like a yellow gold orange pretty much like a bumblebee pretty much pretty good so that's gorgeous let's wipe this down because i'm running out of arm space here and there's smearons of course is staining because they all stain. Any matte colors are definitely more likely to stain. And they're so good. Three, six, eight. We're down to the last eight, guys. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We're down to the last eight. Here we go. We're on the, we're on the, on the back half stretch of this. This video is like 50 minutes long. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Cat nap. Uh, let's just say... Mine is beat up, abused, and well loved. Just look how crazy that looks. Like it's just so beat up and so loved, but it's so good. Uh, they put out Catnap. Um, maybe it's in a couple of years now because they put. I think they released it again, but it's a metallic, just a regular metallic. And look how reflective that is. So how can I not love this? Pow, pow, pow. So good. And it was part of like a collection for No Kill LA. Not the one they did with with Laura Lee. Sorry. <clears throat> Both 
want. Um, she is um, she who shall not be named at this point in the beauty community, but you know who I'm talking about. That girl that everybody's taking their stuff down they have with her. So, yeah. I feel bad for her because she's losing um, out on great opportunities in life because of things that she said in her past, but also because she said things that were ugly and hateful and rude. And I don't care how old or how young you are, you have to realize that people have feelings and they are real. So, this is Sundance. It is an ultra metallic super shop and it's beautiful. It has pan. I love it. But you just gotta be careful what you say with your mouth. Um, know what you're saying know what you're posting in order to post something you have to reread it and hit submit so you knew what you posted so don't act like you didn't know that's my two cents on that this is millionaire it is a staple old school mine is beat up and abused it's like an olive gold like an olive green gold i love it it's beautiful so reflective it's so beautiful while we're chatting this is we're chatting and swatching let's keep talking um the rest of the crew that's with her gabriel zamora manny mua nikita dragon apparently um i can't even think of her name but the list goes on of people who said things on social media they should not have even kathleen lights this is boy band it's an ultra metallic but it looks more like a pearlized to me but you know i'm gonna choose how they call things color pop i love color pop but i'm gonna choose these are people who have said things that were inappropriate online they said them some of them apologize some of the apologies were better than others some of them have the type of community that rallies around them and will support them and they'll bounce back and then some of them don't that's the bottom line this is lightning bug ultra glitter it's beautiful well used and well loved in my collection but like I said, they um, you have to be careful what you say. Be careful what you put out there. Don't use words that are offensive regardless of whether they're offensive to a race, a group, a sex, um, whether they're offensive to anyone. If you're saying something and you reread that before you post it and hit submit and then you submit it anyway, then that's a feeling that's in your heart. That's a feeling that's in your spirit. You felt this way either at some point in your life or you feel that way now. So... Make a decision. Make a decision about that person you want to be. This is Blaze and it is a metallic. Just a regular metallic. And it just have hit pen on it and it's one of the love. But make some decisions about what you want to be and who you want to be in life before you start having social media. If you are not age appropriate enough or old enough or mature enough to have social media, you shouldn't have those habits. And you should basically back off for a while if you've gotten to a point where you don't know who you are. You don't know who your friends are. You don't know what's going on around you you're not aware of social stigmas then you need to do some research on those things and research yourself before you do any kind of social media platforms this is bandit and it is a matte and as you can see mine has rings and pan and it is abused and used and i've used it to death i'll probably finish off bandit by the end of the fall just a deep brown um like a rich warm brown actually it's beautiful 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 it has like a yellow brown on the tone too it's pretty i love it obviously mine is on its way out on its way out almost done the last one is crenshaw from the k-pop collection they did with karuchi and it is a matte it is a matte brown that i love to take all over it's so creamy guys you just can't this is beautiful matte yellow brown how beautiful that blends out it's beautiful all over the lid some days and just throw on a liner and go I love it so much that I have a second one. Proof is in the receipts. Boom. This one's brand new. This is what I'm using. I love this so much. So, guys, that's the end. These are like the more neutral gold browns that I love a lot. As you can see, they were really used and abused because they're the ones that I use probably the most. Um, outside of like some of those teals and brighter lid colors, Amaze, Lala. They're some of my favorites. Um, they're beautiful. They're just gorgeous colors these is this, this is my box of how color pop shadows <laughs> so gorgeous Wait, look at this look at this pile of color pop shadows i clearly love the super shock shadows and i have really supported them again remember to enter the giveaway guys this is abiza and um i like you they're gorgeous ultra metallic colors please enter it put a purple heart down so i know you want to be interested in the giveaway i'm going to put everybody in a random generator um and just let it probably spin i'll probably do it live i have a wheel a roulette wheel i can put everybody's like name on and then just let it spin up to 50 people so i only have like 80 subscribers so if everybody goes in the wheel 
um, I'll spend I'll probably spend for this giveaway and it'll be good so however many people enter we'll do that and or else I'll put it in a random generator and just let it let it pick but this is my first giveaway guys on my channel I'm so excited I can't wait to see who wins these um, I'll probably send you these and I'm big on sending extra goodies or things but you know we shall see I hope you guys enter my giveaway and I hope you guys like this watch video it was super long I'm gonna try to put all the pieces together in some kind of editing software I don't know how that's gonna work it's my first video that I try to edit that way so work with me bear with me it was great to have you guys please come back please subscribe and like this video I will hope to have it as a reference for others in the future so that they can use it um, as a reference to see the swatches of Colourpop shadows Superstar shadows as well as see them on brown skin and deep skin um, for reference, I am a 470 suede C in Lancome. I'm also Golden Omen 6.75 in Bobbi Brown. Those are perfect matches for me. Um, that's my skin color. That's what I am. It's in the, That's what I am right now in the summer. So I will probably drop down a couple shades or a shade and a half in the winter to like 6.5. Um, into like 460, 465 in Lancome. So that's where you see me at. Guys, it was great having you. Thank you for watching this till the end. Thank you for just sticking with me through this horde of shadow swatching. It's been great. And my rambly talking at the end because I was just talking as I swatched about some things. But those are my actual true feelings. I don't have to edit that out or cut that out because I don't have time and I'm not going to do it. And I don't know how. But. Be careful what you say on social media, guys. Be careful. Be smart. Just be a good person. See you around. Bye.